This is what it looks like from my bed. It's kind of dark in here, so you can't see any of this stuff on the walls. But it's about 5.15. Didn't sleep all that great, but I guess I did sleep. Time to get up and get this day started. All the crap in there. So the sun's just coming up over the hill there. Oh, I forgot all about my GoPro. Alright, making some coffee, make some breakfast. Windy today. A little bit windy. Turn that off for a minute. I'll be making oh I'll, I'll be making breakfast pretty soon. But it's gonna be a few minutes for me to get to the ice chest trying to unpack or pack up the bed.
got uh, some kind of sausages from the freezer. Wash the hands, rinse the hands off. Cook up some sausage. I wonder if the coffee's ready yet. Getting that? The golden goodness of coffee in the morning when you're at Mormon Wells. A little creamer. Heck yeah. Some sugar. sugar. There it is. Good morning. Mm, hot coffee. Like it's gonna blow away. It's kind of gusty. Breakfast. Coffee. <laughs> Warming right up. It was a little bit chilly when I first woke up, put on a sweater, but now it's feeling pretty warm. I'll be out of this sweater in another 20 minutes, I'm sure. Alright, I think those sausages are cooked enough. I can start these eggs. Kind of broken already. Oh. Sausage and eggs. What are you guys having for breakfast today? Put it in the comments below. Good morning and welcome to Camp Lapidary. We're having sausage and eggs for breakfast here at Mormon Wells. Yesterday we were rock hounding the lowest elevation in Utah. This is a piece of, looks like, uh, it, I'm 99% sure that's fossil wood. It has all the look of fossil wood. So, therefore, it must be fossil wood, right? And here we are at uh, Mormon Wells amongst the trees. Having some breakfast and uh, we'll go some rock hounding a little bit later. And uh, then we'll be on our way. We're headed south uh, into the Mojave Desert. Uh, Cocoa Weef is where we're Hopefully be spending the night tonight if all goes well. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Messy eggs. Heck yeah. Oh, I need some salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. All in there. A little bit of black pepper. 
pepper. Breakfast. Woohoo! That's pretty much done for me. May not be the most appealing plate, but I'm going to eat it anyway. All right, so I got a little bit of sun hitting the panels. Not much. It's coming at an angle, but I thought I would uh, go ahead and plug in, charge up my uh, battery bank a little bit. It's down about, it's down one bar, which, you know, says 20%, but might only be 15% or something like that. Only getting about four watts. And it might end up with an error or something because of the low voltage or the high voltage. Something because both panels I get a I occasionally get an error E18, I think it is, which uh says the voltage is too high. And it's because of the two panels. Sometimes if I connect just one panel when it's uh low wattage. I'll actually get more wattage out of one panel than two panels. We'll just see. So, why do I need the Blue Eddy AC50S? Well, for drone batteries. Got this 12 volt charger for the drone batteries. 66 watts out, 4 watts in. I ended up with an error. So I changed out from two panels to just one panel. Um, and I've got the iPhone plugged in right here. I've got my little fan plugged in. I've got my uh, little battery bank for the GoPro plugged in. So... That's the four USB outlets that it has. Oh, and I'm charging my portable speaker. I already charged up my little tablet. And so, yeah, wattage. We need wattage. There's, pl there's plenty of juice in there. And I'm nestled under the trees. It's really not a good spot for getting solar. But it is what it is. And there's plenty of storage in there for a couple days of me using electricity. But I'm really happy with this unit. Uh, this is the very first trip out that I've had it that I've been using it. I have had it for a couple months now and I've been using it uh, pretty much every day. Uh, charging up phones and uh, keeping my uh, laptop computer charged, which is what I edit my videos on. And I do have my laptop. And when I charge the laptop, it goes right into the USB-C right there, that power delivery port. And that gives me 42 watts or whatever it is. Uh, you know, the, the laptop wants 65 watts or something like that. So it doesn't charge super fast, but it does charge and it works great. So I'm really happy with this unit. Uh, I just wanted to kind of show you that and, you know it does have the ac ports I, I do use them occasionally i have a small drill that i use to unplug my uh glue tip and uh just other things you know just little things you can plug into that and it'll work all right we got stuff charging i've uh basically cleaned up breakfast 
caught the stove in the act of kind of leaking a little bit. Hope, hope I don't have any issues with it. But I've kind of cleaned that up, kind of got breakfast cleaned up, and I just thought it'd be a good time for map time. Now, I don't know if you guys, if any of you people out there in YouTube land likes map time or not, but I do. I really love maps. Ever since I was a kid, I was looking at maps. So here we have the U.S. And, of course, Utah. We started in Salt Lake City. And we're way down here in this corner now. And so there's a bigger picture of Utah. And again, we started in Salt Lake, drove down I-15, all the way down here into Arizona. And I didn't bring my Arizona map because there's just a little tiny portion of Arizona that we're actually in. But it does happen to be kind of relevant. So we're down there by St. George. All right, so from St. George, we came down and then this is the Virgin River Gorge, which is always a nice drive. But we got off right here at Cedar Pocket and took this dirt road, that bumpy road, if you remember, if you were watching before, all the way. And this was all really beautiful, amazing. And there's several uh, wilderness areas and, uh, you know, restricted type areas where they only allow you to do certain things. And we came down and we uh, met a lady down in here and talked to her for a minute. She was hiking, and she hiked all this way. It was kind of amazing. So then we came down. We got on 91. We went north to just across the, the border. And now there's this Salt Lake Wagon Road, 1849 to 1857. And that's pretty much the road that we took to get where we're at. And we're in this wash, Beaver Dam Wash. And this is the lowest point of Utah. So actually, you know, we're down here, right about there. And we rode up in the truck just to the border. And this is where I wanted to get, but we can get there a different day, maybe on a different machine. Getting there on a motorcycle would be real easy. And so we're going to backtrack along the Salt Lake, Los Angeles wagon road back to 91, head south, get on I-15 and, and head on into uh, the California, California Mojave Desert. That's our plan. But I'm going to go ahead and, and go that direction over there and do a little bit of rock hounding before we go anywhere. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the sleeping bags and kind of pack up the trailer a little bit so that all this stuff isn't just sitting out. Pretty much buttoned up the truck and trailer. A few things out. Table, a chair. But everything's pretty much in the trailer or in the truck. Got my floppy hat, got a GPS, I've got water, got a freshly charged battery, got a rock hammer. It's about, it's almost nine o'clock in the morning. Seems like a good time to go for a walk. I'm still in awe of this tree. You know, really what it needs is, is uh, some comparison. It's just massive. I mean, look at the size of this broken limb that was way up there or there. 
I was a little bit nervous about parking right there because of that big limb. You know, if the tree's rotting, I don't want it to fall on my truck, but I guess you got to take some chances. So there's a great big piece up in there that's kind of just hanging, leaning, I guess. But anyway, let me uh, set up this little tripod thing and I'll walk up next to this tree. It's pretty big. All right, walking. You know, I like, of my videos, I really do like making these videos. I like what I make. And so I'm gonna keep making them. And I think some people eventually more people eventually will find the channel and come to it naturally. There's no rush. No reason to rush anything. You know, if the channel was bigger right now and you know, I would have the temptation to monetize it and then I'd have to get a part 107 for my drone flights just because you know you made a dollar so as long as I keep it non you know non business I can have the drone and do drone flights But I really like the walking parts of my videos. And so I hope I hope you enjoy this morning walk. 9 a.m. Extreme North Western Arizona. Anybody know what that is? Sure is a cool pale green color. Oh, I've also got the GPS going. I marked my camp so that I could find it easy. And I was going to use a microphone this morning. You know, I'm, I'm uh, filming on the iPhone with a stick, an Extendomatic selfie stick and uh, you know, I was going to use the microphone because it's a little bit breezy but I just thought you know really I don't talk that much and I, I know I'm talking now and I need to talk more but 
sometimes it's nice just to enjoy the peace and quiet. The crunch of walking, the sounds of birds, the wind, bugs buzzing around. No idea. So I like finding these deposits of big rocks. Heavier rocks get stuck when it floods and that's where you're gonna find your nice heavy rocks. And nice big rocks. And that's an, ooh, I like that granite. If it was a little bit darker, it looks like it could be fossil wood. heavily eroded. It's definitely a, some kind of a silicate. Yeah, we can keep that one. Clean it up, maybe cut it. Could be wood. Might not be. Might just be some kind of a chert or flint or some other silicate. Flex pyrite in that one. Could be gold. Whoops.